to start off I'm making the cottage template out of cardboard just to test the size and checking the design cutting the final adjustment out of passwood using wood glue and wiping the excess and square dowels for the beams, sanding it at an angle. Taking craft match sticks for the railings and covering all the walls with coffee stirs and the trim around the windows and doors. For the shingles, I'm using cardboard from a cereal box, cutting long strips and instead of gluing each square at a time, I'm just making a cut more than halfway of the strip. After overlapping them on the roof, they look like individual squares. And to finish these off, it's time for the paint. First, a base coat dry brushing darker colors then the highlight using crackle medium on the roof because I want them to have wood effect the cracks will appear after applying the second coat with a different color Adding a clear plastic and white fabric for the doors and windows. And the cottage is finished. And now it's time for the landscape. Planning where everything goes on the foam base. For making a fake cement, I'm cutting this thin foam board and making indents with the edge of a ruler before painting it, adding the fairy lights to the base. I'm making my own modeling base with these ingredients. covering the exposed foam and shaping it to look like rocks using thinner mixture for the pathway and plaster mixed with mod podge and paint for the rest of the ground lightening the color of the sand with soft pastels the 
setting everything with isopropyl alcohol and diluted mud podge mixing sand with green paint for the grass I'm using a sieve here for an even look For the foliage, I used old blender to shred the sponge with green paint and water. Here you can see two shades of, of it because I used yellow and blue sponges, leaving them overnight to dry. For the trees, I gathered some sticks and gluing the foliage that I made earlier, adding fine turf in a lighter color for some highlight and some fake grass for more variations. Finally, framing with black paint. I used epoxy resin for the pound. And I got lazy with the pool and, and just added the stock image. Here how it looks with the lights on.